weekend for Metro officers. They were involved in three separate shootings. Now the dangerous weekend accounting for nearly a quarter of the department's 13 officer involved shootings all year. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan has a look at the shootings and how investigators say officers tried to end things safely. Less than two weeks after discussing the use of force policy that has made Metro a model around the country. We're never done because we are a learning organization and we critique, heavily critique and criticize um, every single use of force that we have. Investigators have their hands full, conducting three investigations where officers fired their weapons in 48 hours. The last coming Monday when officers shot and killed a man near Bonanza and Rancho. This after they say two tasers were ineffective and the man cut an officer with a knife. Whoa. The dangerous weekend starting as officers ended up in a standoff while pursuing a rape suspect near the stratosphere. Investigators saying they spent hours trying to negotiate and used non-lethal tactics to get the man to surrender even after he fired a shot at officers and made it clear he wasn't coming out. At which time he stated he was not going to come out and at which time he also stated that he didn't want to die. Investigators were also called out to Jones and Vegas Drive after officers exchanged gunfire with a carjacking suspect. It was later determined that suspect killed himself, but after a busy 48 hours. I'm just glad that um, the officers are okay and at this point um, I'm really hoping that things will settle down over the next few days. It's important to note in the two cases where the officers fired the fatal shots, Investigators say those officers tried on multiple occasions to use non-lethal options. And in all three cases, investigators say the suspects in those cases used deadly weapons against the officers. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. And also new to